let us start with the first exercise of the number system and point set theory chapter question 27 n is equal to 144 cube plus 22 cube minus 166 cube then n is necessarily divisible by which of these now such question require you to have a basic understanding of the various formulas the important formulas from your point of view are a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a plus b whole cube a minus b whole cube uh, there would be a couple of more formulas my suggestion is that you go through your number system funda book numbers and set theory funda book again identify these formulas this and a few other formulas and make sure you mug them up you need to remember them always to ensure your calculation becomes somewhat easier okay now let's look at this number if i say 144 is equal to a then i can say n which the question says is 144 cube plus 22 cube minus 166 cube if i say 144 is a then this becomes a cube and if i say one uh, say that 22 is b then this becomes b cube and minus this is nothing but 144 plus 22 is 166 so minus a plus b whole cube so effectively this is the expression that we are looking at now the formula for a plus b whole cube a cube plus b cube plus c a b into a plus b now n is a cube plus b cube minus a plus b whole cube so let us get them together so we can say a cube plus b cube is here so we can say a cube plus b cube let's transpose a plus b whole cube to the other side so minus a plus b whole cube this should be equal to minus c a b into a plus b now but this is nothing but n so i can say n is equal to this so we have got n is equal to we can leave this as it is let's look at this portion only this is nothing but minus 3 what is ab ab now is 144 and b is 22 so minus 3 into 144 into 22 into a plus b is 144 plus 20, uh, 22 so 166 so what is n n is nothing but this number and what is this a multiple of let's look at the choices 11 yes it is a multiple of 11 because it is a multiple of 22 so 11 has to be a part of my answer Let's check the other number along with it, which is thirteen. Thirteen um, is not a factor of one forty-four, not of twenty-two, not of one sixty-six. So thirteen cannot be the answer. So choice A is incorrect. Which also means any choice which has got thirteen has to be incorrect. That means choice G is also incorrect. Okay. Let's look at choice B now. Twelve and eighty-three. It is a multiple of eighty-three because the number is a multiple of one sixty-six. So eighty-three is possible. Twelve. Yes, multiple of twelve also because it's a multiple of one forty-four. So both of these are possible. So choice B becomes the correct answer. So as you notice, this question involved basically using this formula of a plus b whole cube, and which is why I said, please remember these formulas. There will there can be question in CAT and other papers which will make you use these formulas. Please go to your funda book, identify these formulas, make sure you remember all the various forms of these formulas.